guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Allegra and I do fashion and lifestyle content. And today, as you saw from the title, we're gonna be talking about all things wedding guest. I have been invited to weddings. I am 30 years old and everyone is getting married, engaged and having babies. I found I didn't really know what I was doing when I was invited to these weddings. So, okay, so off the bat, you know, there are some things that you don't wear. I know that there's all like different types of weddings and cultures and mostly gonna be talking about like Western weddings. Just also keep that in mind. Most of the time the brides wear white in these types of weddings. So white is the color that is off limit for women. I have seen that like a little bit of cream accents um, is okay. And, but if the dress, the dress has to be less than like 20% white, I would say. Red is a color that is like really a toss up. A lot of people have like strong opinions when it comes to red. Um, I think in, in Indian weddings, the bride wears red. So, okay, yeah. So you shouldn't be wearing red to Indian weddings, but it's very important to also look up the culture and the type of wedding that you're going to, to make sure that if the bride is not wearing white, what is the bride wearing and not to wear that color. But if you aren't going to an Indian wedding, um, red is still a, uh, a color that is on the fence for people. So I would definitely check with the bride if red is okay or the group, the, the couple if red is okay. Um, and if you're unsure or maybe you're a plus one, I'd probably stay away from red. Black. Black at weddings, this is a mixed topic. I think it's totally appropriate and okay, um, but in some cultures, it's really not okay. Um, in some settings, it's not okay. So again, like making sure you're checking with the couple or more tra very traditional, maybe in like a church or something like that, like maybe black is not appropriate. So just double check with the wedding you're going to. Um, but I would say for like most kind of non, like very religious or just kind of like, you know, ca more casual weddings, like black is totally okay. Um, but again, if you're feeling like unsure or you don't know, check. Those are the colors that I feel like, and I mean, some people say like, if the color could photograph white, they're not into that, but I don't know. That's for me, that's like, you're not, if you're not wearing white, it's okay. If you're wearing like light pink and then in flash photography, it looks white. Like you didn't wear white, you're wearing light pink. So, so let's break down the different dress codes. Starting with white tie. You might not ever be invited to a white tie wedding. It's very, very formal. It's like state dinners, like, it's like formal. Women should wear floor length gown, no like to the floor. Heels, sparkly jewelry, the, the dress should be a gown in like a really formal fabric. This is the most formal you can get. So you wanna be wearing your formal jewelry, you definitely wanna have an evening clutch. And then for men, it's like, you should be wearing like a tuxedo with tails. It's like that kind of formal. Definitely like a vest and a bow tie, even probably like, gloves, like you're going the most formal that you can go, that is white tie. I will have different links down below of dresses that kind of caught my eye and I think are appropriate for each category. So you can check the description if you're looking for wedding dresses. Um, I'm gonna do all the work for you, but that is white tie. Black tie is less formal than white tie, but it's still very formal. You still wanna be wearing a long dress, most likely. You could probably get away with like an ankle or like, not like a midi, but not to the floor if it's in a formal fabric. You can't just wear like a long dress in like a linen. It still needs to be a very formal fabric. Obviously not every woman wants to wear a dress and that's totally okay. You can wear a very like chic pantsuit um, with a jacket and the long pants. Uh, there's also like tuxedos for women, which would be totally appropriate. And for men, tuxedos are a must. Tuxedo lapels, um, maybe the tuxedo stripe, cummerbund maybe, um, bow tie, like tux, not just a suit. For summer wedding, the white jacket is also considered black tie appropriate. Again, I would check with the bride and groom if a white jacket's okay for a wedding because sometimes that is traditionally reserved for the groom. Moving on to formal slash black tie optional. So this is less formal than black tie, uh, but still formal. Tuxes are not required, but you can still wear a tux if you want to, um, but you would go with a formal suit. You would you could wear a tie, you don't have to wear like a bow tie in this situation. For women, uh, floor length dress, or here you could also go a fancy midi or even fancy shorter dress, but it would have to be in a formal 
fabric. You're still going formal, but there is more flexibility in terms of length of the dress options. Cocktail attire, this is a very, very prominent uh, attire for weddings. This is probably the most popular. This is where you could wear an elegant midi dress or you could wear a cocktail dress as like traditionally like a shorter dress. So you have a lot of options here. Um, you're, you want to look elegant. It's not super formal though. So there's a ton of options here. This is where you can have a little more fun, maybe do something cute and short, but you still want to look put together and elegant and like you're going to an event, but again, it's not like you need to be wearing like a gown. Uh, men can just really wear a suit and tie here. It doesn't have to be like a tux or it can, it can just be like a normal suit and tie. Semi-formal, dressy, casual. This is really dependent on when the wedding is. If you're going for an evening wedding, um, you definitely want to stick to like darker colors, but um, this option a lot of the time is for like daytime or afternoon weddings where you maybe want to keep the colors kind of more airy and bright, maybe some pattern. You can kind of wear a variety of things here. Um, it doesn't have to be like formal fabrics. You can play with linens and more just casual fabrics and you have a variety of length options. It's, you can kind of just pick honestly like almost any dress and wear it because it's it is more of a casual option men can wear dress shirts and slacks um and a tie is kind of optional jacket shirt no tie there's a lot of options again you just need to look like um a little more put together than you maybe normally would and then there's casual um casual you can kind of wear whatever you want but you still want to obviously look elegant you don't want to be wearing like flip-flops you see this a lot at like beach weddings or maybe like a lot of um just more like casual, like backyard um, weddings, that kind of vibe. Casual fabrics, sundresses, linens. You can wear like wedges or sandals. You can wear flat shoes. And then for men, it's really just like slacks and a collared shirt, no tie needed, no jacket needed. It's very, very casual. Um, so again, like just looking a little bit more put together than you would on the normal day, but you can really just pull any dress and just uh, make it like look a little bit nicer. That's my wedding guest dress code video. Um, let me know your thoughts down below if there's any ones that I miss. I know there's like themed weddings and like tropical weddings and um, there's like festive. There's like all these different types of, of weddings. So if there's a dress code that maybe you've been to that I didn't mention, I'd love to hear it in the comments. Um, and then I will link all the dresses that I've either shown on screen or a little bit more in the description. Thank you so much for watching. Love you all. Peace and love. Bye.